Hello folks, Luke Simons with you, back to the basics 101. If you live in the country, there's something you gotta have, a fan. Now I've learned that I can't even sleep without these bad boys. But what most people don't know is, is you should service your fan. And this is something you can do. Uh, if you take it to town to the fix-it shop, they'll charge you seven to $14 to service your fan. When you can easily do this at home. This fan isn't in all that bad of shape. The fan that's in my room is in way worse shape. But you can see all the ickies on it and the bearings. That's where, that's where you run into problems. Long hair, etc. So, we have a few Phillips screws. I believe there's, what, three of them? Four of them in there. Let's get started. Removing all the screws, put those in a safe spot. Put them out of your way and remove your guard and look at all that dust and all that dust gets stuck on your fan blade see that hear those bearings yes they sound really good this is my office fan and right behind there is your motor look at all that hair see that hair in there this fan isn't that bad. I've had that completely caked up before where you actually have to remove the fan end, which I might do anyways, probably more for demonstration than anything, because that, if I would have let that go another, another summer, that would have been completely filled up with dust and hair or spider webs or whatever it is, and that gums up your bearings. I'm going to show you how to lube those bearings up as well. When you clean your fan off, you're going to get a lot more action out of your fan and you're making your fan not work as hard. And of course, always make sure to unplug your fan before you get started. So you have your fan here. Sometimes it'll be an Allen wrench. In this case, it's just a simple screw. This isn't a high dollar fan at all. And there you go. And it has a set spot. So first we're going to start by removing this hair. Oh, there was actually quite a bit there. Look at that. You want to remove all of that that you can. Look at all that gross hair. Let's get a, my Leathermans out here. Make quicker work out of this. Look at that. You guys seeing that? Look at there. All of that hair, and we got about half that much off already. And now we have a bunch of dust. Those are the bearings. See that? Look at this. All that dust. Man, that's gross stuff. Right. So now we take this. Now, the proper way to do this, and we're not going to do it this way uh, today, but would be to take your um, an air nozzle off of your air compressor and just give it a good squirt. But you can get it this way too if you don't have an air compressor. And this is a very, very easy way to do this. And fans can start fires. A dirty fan can start a fire. That's how most fires start with um, in the attics of people's homes. They just uh, they have a, a ceiling fan in the attic of their, their home. Not a ceiling fan, but an attic fan. And that bearing will get hot dusty and drop out of there we're about done cleaning this up actually try to clean all that dust out of there and stay tuned to the channel because we are going to show you how to make a tent cooler or an AC out of this exact fan we are going camping on our a week camping trip soon. And we looked it up and it's gonna be 90 plus degrees where we're camping. That is not unbearable, but pretty close to it. With our bearing completely clean. And you can do this without removing the fan but it's much easier to do it with a fan removed. See that? So 
So we have our dust on our fan. Look at that. We're gonna call that our cutting edge. Look how filthy that is, right? And it's not that we have a filthy house, it's just this is what happens to fans. And if you have pets, it's gonna be probably way worse than this. Now, you don't need to remove the fan necessarily. This here, I might just have my girls wash this up and where they're washing dishes. Get some of that grime off of there. Look at that, that's really stuck on there. Look at here. Yeah, it's coming off just fine with a rag. Polish that up. Try not to bend that fan, otherwise you'll get a wobble in your fan. This particular one is very, very light. Clean up around this area particularly. The old timers all used to service their fans. And now in our throwaway society, which is really an abomination, People don't think of doing it anymore. They just buy a new fan. And they wonder why, well, them old fans used to last a lot longer. Well, the truth is, is they got serviced. Put in the comments below if you've even thought of servicing your fan before. Go ahead and put it in the comments. I'd be curious to know, very curious to know how many people have actually, and if you've never thought of doing it, Please swallow your pride and put that in there too in the comment for me. It'd be really interesting to know. Look at this. One of my kids must have stuck something in the fan. It's got uh, some big dents in there. Altogether, this is going to probably take me, I don't know. If I wasn't filming this, this wouldn't take me really any time at all. Maybe five, six minutes. So far, this is what we've come up with, and we really are not done. And this fan wasn't used a whole lot. Got it fairly clean, and that's what we got off of it so far. This is where it works good to have a little air compressor and give her a little pop of air. It just kind of cleans it up a little faster. Wow, that is dusty. I can actually smell that. This one here in my office, a lot of times I'll do this by an open window. And uh, you can see the dust that it pulls in. Woohoo, she is dusty. Look at that, not even completely done. Wow. Look at that. That's just one side of the fan. If you don't take time to do it right the first time, how are you gonna take time to do it right the second time? All right, well, I have to take a momentarily break. Thanks, baby. This is what we're going to use for lubrication, 3-in-1 oil. And um, normally I use sewing machine oil, but I must have misplaced it because I could not find it right this minute. And this stuff will work just fine. This is kind of a neat um, system that 3-in-1 made some time ago. And it lasts a long time. Lubing this, we will lube this just a little bit because there is a bearing in here. But we are going to lube behind this as well. The bearing is actually right in here. So we're just gonna pop our oil up. And it works best if you elevate your fan almost right up if you can. And, I don't know if we'll catch this on film, but you'll see that this oil will work its way in and make a mess. That's all right, let it make a mess. Just work it in. It only needs a drop or two. 
put one more measured drop in. I'm going to put it on the back side. Okay, so that was three little drops. Working that into the motor, bearing. Okay. Oh yeah, that, that feels good. That feels really good. Not just feels good, it, it is good. There we go. I can hear it much better sound coming out of it. Real good. So we find our dead spot again where our set screw is going to set on. So the set screw is going to come out of there and sit on here. That's typically so. Um, sometimes it'll be an Allen wrench instead. Okay, and give it a little tight. You don't have to get overly crazy with that. And a lot of times it'll kind of seat itself too. There we go. Good to go. Take your guard. Just place it on. Put your screws in. Sometimes the newer fans don't even have screws. They have just uh, like a, uh, I don't know, a little clamp thing on there. But most of your older fans will have screws. And go ahead and set them on there. I know a lot of you young, younger people are like, I don't need a, a guard. Well, maybe, but I think you do. So put that guard back on. Make sure to do it, just, just do it right. And here we have a completely cleaned fan. You can see the difference of your fans. Look at here. No hair whatsoever. Completely sparkly clean. No dust. And completely lubricated. This fan is going to last for a long, long time. We just keep servicing it. Folks, upkeep is something in our country that people just aren't into. Including myself. I find myself always, it just seems like, you know, the more things you own, the more things own you. And people are like, Luke, it's a $20 fan or a $25 fan, maybe a $30 fan now, I don't know. True, but $30 saved is $30 earned. And really, this took me maybe six minutes. And I made a complete video in that time. The Bible says we're supposed to be good stewards. And when we are a good steward of the land, of our possessions, I think that's pleasing to God. We don't worship things. This is just a fan. We could throw it away tomorrow and put it in the recycle bin. But what's the point? Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Luke Simons. Happy trails.